Hey fellas and welcome to Elite Dangerous. Here I'll show you how to make some easy credits and by easy I'm talking about like um, about I don't know, 40 million an hour something like that. Uh, it's pretty easy actually but um, you need a good ship for it really. With a smaller ship the profits are really small so uh, let's go out here. There are a few systems I mark like the Fehu system and then there is uh, Sothis. Which is my favorite. Let's click on that. And this is where I'm going. It's uh, 500 light years away as you can see. But um, that's why I said you need good ship for that. And definitely jump range and some cargo cap capabilities. So let's uh, plot her out in there. What's, what's, what's going on? Hello? Uh, okay. But anyway, I'm going to fly out here. Let's see how many jumps is it. Uh, 13 jumps, no it, it, it has gone further. Anyway, whatever. It's 13 jumps and I got a good jump range with this Anaconda. I have, as you can see, 45.4 light years. 48 is what it could do, but the fuel uh, limit is limiting it, if you know what I mean. And if you're wondering what I have, everything is modified, as you can see. All the um, frame shift drives and thrusters and stuff. The less mass is better. I could actually sell all of these beam lasers and stuff and I could get maybe 46, 47 out of it, but that's fine. I'm gonna jump out there and then I'll explain further how you can get some easy credits. So I made it to the SOTIS system and there is this uh, station called Newholm Station. It's roughly about uh, 2000 light years from the sun, 1800 actually, but um. And there's also a mine ink, but I can't talk there with a large bat. There is only a medium bat, it's the biggest one it has. But um, I don't think I'm going to leave the talking part in here. A lot of people are saying it's difficult to talk with Anaconda, but um, I'm going to just show you that it's pretty easy actually. Once you do it once, then. Okay, stop. Just have to put the thrusters. Um, on the other side, okay, I overshot just a tiny bit, but that's okay. I don't really like the docking computers, because sometimes they can be really slow. But they do find the bat, that's the only thing I, I like about them. And I overshot again. That's, that's one of the worst dockings ever. I was just flying um, the Federal Assault ship before that. <laughs> this one is just so big and bulky again. It's just terribly slow. But that's okay, I can do it. There we go. So we're gonna go into the missions and take some missions from here. It's also really good to uh, grind the rank for the Federation. So let's do this. Let's check what they have in here. Uh, I'm not gonna take uh, the missions at the first. The ones that earn you money, a lot of it. As you can see, this one. 36 units of bio waste and you get 5 million for it. Of course you have to deliver it back into the civilization, but that's okay. And these are the missions I'm going to take. Actually I could take this, these are really good. Yep, I will take these because these are really good. What you want to look for is the ones that have a really small amount of uh, cargo, but they give more than like 3 million. Uh, these, I don't like taking these, I only take the delivery missions. 36 units, okay, I can take that. And of course it's lagging a little bit, I don't know why. I have 256 cargo space, I could take more actually, I could sell something. But that's okay. And I will also take these, I will show you how to grind the rank, so I'm gonna waste a little bit more time, but it's worth it, because the Federation rank, you can rank it up li really quick in here. I got two ranks up in like, a few hours, so it's it's totally worth it. And the missions you need to take is boom, uh, data delivery, and the other boom, boom thing, what, what was in there, no, the other boom uh, data, it was the courier missions, so. Let's take these, and then... We deliver it to the CO system, which is only less than nine light years away. And there is more to it, there is more to it. I will show you everything. I could just cut the video, but I prefer just doing it in one go, so just bear with me. Or you can just fast forward it a little bit, but... Um, 
actually I will cut it. I will take all the available missions from here. Uh, this obviously not this one. Uh, missions that are couriers or boom data deliveries. So. All right, and I looked all through, and there is nothing more to take. The courier missions, and now to the final part of the trick. You click escape, quit to the main menu, and what you do from here is start. And I was in solo play, then go into open play, and just bear with me. Right, and once in open play, we go back into the services, mission board, and the missions have been updated. That's the trick. Just when it actually loads. See, we have already one boom data delivery and to the CEO system. So we take this one. And once again, you look through all of these. I don't know why it's loading so long. I've been having this problem for a couple of days now, but... Um, okay. Uh, 108 units. This is definitely what you don't want. That's gonna just waste your space. It does give you 7.5 million though, but still. As you can see, these missions were not available before, but now they are. So, I'm doing the same. I'm going through all of these again. Well, I took all the missions, but look at this one. 180 units of bio waste and 10 million. That is insane. I don't know if I should actually take it. Let's see, 108. Hmm, that's that's gonna be a lot. That's gonna take a lot of space, but that's 10 million. But then again, there is 48 units of landmines. That's uh, illicit cargo, so you have to sneak it in, snake in, as it says in here. But um, you get 7 million for that. So if you have two of these missions, that's gonna be uh, 96 units. Which compared to that is a lot less and you get uh, about 14 million for that. So it's better to take the missions that have less units and a little bit less payment. But all in all, they're going to pay up more. So that's better to take those. And now we've taken all of them from open play. And we're going to do it again. We're going to quit the main menu. And we do the same thing. We're going to go from open play. Whoops, not into training. <laughs> we're going to go from open play to solo play. And as you can see, the missions have been updated once again. And again, we take uh, everything that is uh, boom data delivery or courier missions to see our system. This is for rank grinding. This is not for money. I'm just showing it anyway. But the trick is to like quit into the main menu and go from if you're in solo play, go into open play and from open play to solo. And do it, at a, I don't know, a few times until you can't see any uh, new missions anymore. Or the limit is 20 missions at a time. You can't take more than that. So what, whatever comes first. So take all of these. Uh, snake in. Uh, could actually take this. Because that's into the CO system. So um, yeah I will take this. this. This is not for money. That's for rank. It's snake in. So that's actually perfect. I'm going to show you everything. The whole coverage on this thing. So. And I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to go back into the open play and back into the solo play. So I'm going to just skip through that part and then come back to it. Alright, looks like I got all the missions there is. But there's actually one more trick. If you don't see any more new missions, what you can do is take one of the missions and then abandon it. Like take all of these four. Abandon all these four. You might get fined for it. That's that's the problem. Some of the missions you get fined if you abandon it. Abandon it but... Um, up to you if you want to do it, if you can abandon all these four and then switch back to open play and solo play, then all these missions will be replaced with something new. So that's that's how this trick works. So if you want to take more missions, you can take them, abandon them and then switch. But let's see how much I got. See, I got a lot of missions in here. These are not for the CEOs system, but, um, but that's it. So let's um, just get out of here. And keep in mind that I have illicit cargo in here, which means you can't get scanned, otherwise you're in trouble. So. Whoops, uh, wrong button. I didn't want to press that. So we're going to plot the route. Not the plot the route, just select the CO system, which is right here. And just to explain how to complete the mission without getting scanned. Well... Getting out of the station is fairly easy. I have never been scanned while getting out, but um, 
Just line yourself up perfectly. You might look on the radar if the um, Federals are away from the doorway, but um, it's not necessary. Just frull up and push just before you exit. 99% sure I'm not getting scanned, but if I do, then I'm fucked. You could put the silent running on if you go out, but like I said, I've never been scanned when I'm going out, so... You just have to boost away and that's it, you're good to go, so... And let's, let's do this. Let's get into the sea of system. And there's also a new dawn station, that's the only station there is in the sea of system, so that's, that's where you go in. And one trick I wanted to mention about the uh, interdictions, because you will get interdicted uh, some, sometime, at some point. Uh, the best way to avoid them is not actually to try to get away. What you do is put the throttle to zero, then it's not gonna pull you out, it's not gonna damage your hull and it's not gonna have that emergency cooldown. And as soon as you come out of the hyperspace, they're not gonna attack you instantly, they're gonna scan you first. But as soon as you get out, you're gonna put the uh, boost on, just boost away, wait until your uh, frame shift uh, loads up, which is gonna be just maybe like 5 seconds or something. And then just jump away, and that's it. And I overshot, way overshot. I wasn't paying attention what I was doing, but that's okay. You can just go around. But yeah, that's the best way to avoid them. Just jump out when they interdict you and boost away and just jump back in. They're gonna probably chase you a little bit, but it's e easier because you're not gonna be pulled out and you're not gonna get blown up, so that's a really good way to avoid them. Or if someone like up here like says something something like that, that ooh, I like your cargo. See, there, there we go. I'm gonna show how it works. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, where is he? Okay, he's far away. He's not gonna get me. Or maybe he is. Just don't let him get behind you. That's that's the trick. Okay, he was shot. Yeah, he was shot. I just looked at the name. This Joe Cran blah 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 shit. He's getting behind me. See, that's that's what you do. You just turn. On the left radar, you see, he's, he was like, almost behind me, now he's in front of me. He overshot, he overshot, the noob! Now where is this, um, fucking station? No, 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 you're not getting behind me. See, that's how you avoid them. See? Don't let him behind you. Uh, what mission critical message? Sometimes they actually, oh shit, I forgot, god damn it. I have illicit cargo, so I have to snake it in. I just hope this idiot doesn't jump after me, then then it's gonna be fucked up. Sometimes they do, do jump after you, and then they get blown up by the station, but um, the thing is I can't go close because I'm gonna get scanned, so... Kind of um... Okay, shut the fuck up with your messages. Uh, I need to request talking real quick. Where's the station? Okay, that's perfect. I don't really need to line up perfectly because I'm too damn good. Oh shit! He came! Oh fuck! That sounded wrong, that's what she said. Silent running on, don't shoot me in the back. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I don't like pressure, don't don't put pressure on me. Okay, actually I'm really good under pressure. I have good thermal um, management on this ship, so... As you can see I can have the silent running pretty long. Now where's 24? He just jumped after me, that, that scared the hell out of me. He's gonna probably get blown up at the station if he tries anything, but... Where's the fucking pad? There it is. Yep, see? Show the grande, you scratch my paint, he's getting blown up. Noob. Oh god, that's that scared me. But hey, some awesome scenes for you. Also, I don't like auto-talking with... Uh, this thing because it always slams you onto the pad and I'm gonna slam myself no I'm not if you used all the docking it's gonna damage your hull that's what I was trying to say but um, also when you land enter the hangar instantly because at some points you might get scanned while you're on the pad and that's bad get it <laughs> that's that's really bad because they have just turrets inside the station so but I managed it I did it so Let's get rid of that. Whew. That was not for money. That that was for rank. Let's see what I got. 
Only 800,000, that's fine. That was not for money. I'm gonna just hand in all the chops. Wait, what rank did I have? 37%, uh, okay. Okay, so I turned in all the missions. Let's see if I got any... 40%. Uh, 3%. Mm, not, not, not that good, but... Um, you do the same thing in the CO system. You take the missions. Um, 12 units for narcotics. Yeah, I'll take this. Uh, this is how you grind the rank. You go between the sotis and CO system and just take the missions you can complete instantly. Like, uh, boom, uh, data deliveries. These, uh, because as I said, the station has only medium paths in there, so you can't go in there. But anything else you can take, take them, deliver them, and just grind rank if you want. But for money, I'm gonna be looking for these boom time deliveries and snake missions, so... I'm gonna just do this few times, I'm gonna collect up some missions and then I'll come back to it. Uh, for example, I want to show you one thing in here. Look at this mission. It's 132 units. And it has 7.8 million you get. But in here you get 7.7 .7 million, almost the same, but only 72 units of bio waste. It's a little bit longer distance, yeah, you have to keep that in mind. Uh, where was it? Uh, see, that's that's even less, that's 64 units and 4.6 million. So you have to look which is best uh, suitable for you, which has like less units and more profits. You can see they're almost similar missions, but uh, completely different uh, cargo. Almost twice in here, but the payment is almost the same. Just for about like 40 light years, so. So look, look up these and make sure you get the best missions possible. Well, I've actually taken too many missions now, so check what happens if I try to take it. <laughs> it simply says I have too many of them, so. But I'm almost done in here. I'm gonna make one more run into the CO system. But just to, uh, just to give you a note about it, you don't have to do that. You don't have to bounce between the SOTIS and CO system. You can simply take the missions from one of them and just deliver them back to the civilization. Like missions like these. Uh, I currently have this one. It's uh, almost 6 million for only 40 units. This, these are the missions you want. And I got quite some few of them. I think I have room for one more. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, could get one more. But first I'm gonna go into the CO system and see if there are any missions. I hand in what I have and then I go back and show you the results. So I'm gonna try to do a ninja docking. Let's see if it works. <laughs> I've done it a few times, let's see. Oh my god, stop spamming with these messages. Okay, I think I can boost one more time. Alright, let's go for the ninja entrance. Let's see if it works, how good I'm gonna do that. I overshot, god damn it. Or maybe not, actually. Oh shit, here goes. Break! Break you freaking Mickey Mouse! Oh god! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh crap! Break! <laughs> oh my god! That was so far from Ninja Entrance. Ow! I'm stuck on something. <laughs> Too fast! I don't know why I pushed that, but come on, that was fun. I did get in perfectly. That's also how you can get in without uh, being scanned. But I don't recommend doing that without the shields. Because if you crash into something, then bye bye ship. Well, anyway, I think that was quite of a funny entrance. <laughs> you just can't go uh, too fast because you can't stop before you hit the wall. But here we go. Right, so I think I got uh, everything I came here for, so I have my cargo space almost full. I could actually find one more mission for like exactly 16 units of bio waste, but um, or maybe 12 units, but you have to log in and out like a lot of times, so I, I really can't bother with it, I mean, that's okay. Even though it's like 3 to 5 million <laughs> per each, but uh, I also got the rank up by like, I had what, 27% something? I don't remember. But the rank uh, goes up only if you take the missions from the Federation, which are marked by this. 
I believe that's true. So if it doesn't have the mark, then these don't really get you the rank as uh, much as these. They do give something, but just a little bit really about them. But that's okay. So I'm gonna show you how many missions I have and then I deliver them. Let's uh, count them. Whoops. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven missions. Okay. That's, that's good enough. And I'm gonna go into the galaxy map. Galaxy map, I said. Let's open this up and the best way to do, see, they're almost in the same place. You look at the closest one to you. It's best to go from here. I think this is the closest one. So we go in here and plot the route. It's best to take them from galaxy map. Take the closest one to you and start from there. I'll go in there, 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 here and here. Yep, that's, that's good enough, I guess so. So I'm uh, about to just uh, take off from here. So uh, make a note of the time and the uh, money I have currently. So it's 210 million, let's say roughly. And it's 2213. So let's see how long it takes me to uh, give in all the missions. So I'll come back to it once I'm on the last one. Well, in meanwhile, that's a nice view. Look at that. That sunset, dry sun, whatever, it looks awesome, look at that. The horizon thing, it's pretty cool. Oh crap, getting interdicted, I'll show you how to escape from this. As I see you, I put them um, speed to zero. No, oh, it's a python, he's, he's gonna be, he's gonna go bye bye. He can't even scan me, that's the thing, see? And my frame shift is already charging. And that's how you escape. So just just put the cross to zero and then do this. He's gonna come after me again, but well, it's worth it. If you can't fight because um I have only level three, I mean grade three shields and crappy lasers, so. Right then, this is the last one. Oh my god, he's still coming. He's gonna get blown up. I'm gonna actually enjoy seeing him getting blown to pieces. Oh wait, he just left? I think he left. off but that's okay so that is the last car car so yeah go ahead and scan me if you want like I care I kind of wanted to see him getting blown up but he chickened out where's landing pad number two? Oh, there it is did he just shot me in the back Yeah, he definitely did come after me. He got blown up any second now. Huh? I'll just turn around and look, but whatever, I'm gonna just talk. <laughs> that was kind of crappy talking. Alright, let's see how much I made then. That's the last mission, let's give it in. Commander? What the fuck? Did you just say commander? Whatever. So I started with 210 million, so that is 36 million. In. What is the time? In less than hours. I think I started uh, 22.13, something like that. That's how long it took me to give in the missions, to fly out here and give in the missions, so. And to collect them it takes actually less, but I was just messing around out there for no reason. So, here you go. That's how you make easy credits. I hope this helps and I will see ya next time.